Picture this, your Galaxy phone suddenly feels like it's jumped a generation overnight. The animations are sharper, the lock screen feels alive, and even simple things like checking the weather or multitasking have been transformed. That's the magic Samsung is trying to pull off with One UI 8. But here's the kicker, not every Galaxy owner is going to experience it, and some fans are in for a frustrating surprise. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you love staying ahead of the curve with the latest Samsung updates. So here's what's happening. Samsung isn't slowing down at all. One UI 8 built on Android 16 is already being tested on a surprisingly wide lineup of devices. We're talking the Galaxy's 23 and S22 series, the S21 FE, the Fold 5 Flip 5, Fold 4 Flip 4, and even budget-friendly mid-rangers like the A50, A55, A54, A36, A35, and A26. Tablets like the Tab S10, Tab S9, and even the Rugged Tab Active 5 Pro are included. That's an insanely broad testing pool. But here's the catch. Some of these test builds will never make it out of Samsung's labs. They'll remain private forever, which means not everyone on that list is guaranteed to see One UI 8. And here comes the heartbreak. If you're still rocking a Galaxy S21, things aren't looking good. Samsung's four-year major update promise has already run its course for that lineup. Just like the Galaxy S20 series last year, the S21 is probably stuck at One UI 7 with Android 15 as its final stop. A lot of fans were secretly hoping Samsung would surprise us, but the reality is the update policy is pretty strict here. Now, flip to the other side of the story, newer flagships are basically living the dream. Starting with the Galaxy S24 series, Samsung is offering a massive seven years of major updates. That puts it shoulder to shoulder with Apple's legendary support and gives owners of devices like the S24, Fold 6, Flip 6, and the brand new Fold 7 and Flip 7 a serious sense of security. These phones are practically future-proof, and the two newest foldables, they're already shipping with One UI 8 out of the box. But let's talk about what One UI 8 actually feels like. This isn't just a surface, level paint job. Samsung has reworked the design language. Icons look cleaner, animations feel buttery smooth, and menace flow more consistently. It feels like the whole interface has been tuned up. And then there's AI, woven deeper into apps, the camera, and even system settings. It's designed to make everyday tasks smarter and faster without you even noticing it's working in the background. The timing couldn't be more intense. Apple is about to roll out iOS 26 with its futuristic liquid glass design, and you know the comparisons are inevitable. Apple nails consistent rollouts every single time. Samsung, not so much. Last year's One UI 7 rollout was all over the place, slow, staggered, and frustrating for fans. This year, Samsung really can't afford to drop the ball. Here's an interesting stat when asked about the beta, about 30% of Galaxy owners said they'd jump in immediately. Another 20% said, only if it looks stable. But over half, more than 50%, said they'd rather wait for the official release. And honestly, that makes sense. As exciting as it is, nobody wants their daily driver crashing mid-text because of buggy beta software. Now, the rollout itself has been moving at breakneck speed. One UI 8 testing kicked off in May with the Galaxy S25. By early August, the S24 series Fold 6 and Flip 6 were added to the mix. The S23 lineup, Fold 5, and Flip 5 are next in line, and we can expect more mid, rangers, and tablets to join soon. It's the fastest expansion we've seen in years, and it shows Samsung is pushing harder than before. And now, the fun part features. The lock screen clock has gone fully dynamic. It actually reshapes itself around the subject of your wallpaper, almost like it's alive. It expands, contracts, and moves with fluidity. Forget static depth effects. This is Samsung doing something Apple hasn't pulled off yet, and it looks incredible. The weather app, it's basically been rebuilt. It looks so realistic it could pass for something out of a video game. Smooth shadows, animations, and transitions that make old versions look ancient. Modes and routines have clever touches like umbrella reminders when rain is coming, or a morning greeting that tells you the time and weather out loud after you dismiss your alarm. These are small things, but they add up to a smarter daily experience. Multitasking has been polished too. Split screen feels more fluid. You can shrink one app down further than before, tap to refocus it instantly, and jump between tasks with less effort. Quick Share has also been redesigned so you can prep file transfers before you even start sharing, making it faster and way less clunky. And then there are the new creative features. Portrait Studio now supports pets. Yes, finally. You can create cartoon effects, fisheye shots, and even oil painting style edits of your dog or cat. 
For DeX users, desktop mode now supports different resolutions and vertical setups. Live activities are expanding to third-party apps like Uber and food delivery, so you can track things right from your navigation bar. And notification cooldown is genius. It stops your phone from spamming you with loud alerts when you reconnect to Wii, Fi in the morning. Of course, this is still beta software, so it's not perfect yet. But the direction Samsung is heading feels clear one, UI 8 is smoother, smarter, and more alive than anything they've done before. The real test now is whether they can roll it out consistently across all promised devices, because if they can't, Apple will have the upper hand yet again. So the big question is, are you gonna wait for the stable release, or are you brave enough to jump into the beta and live on the cutting edge? Either way, One UI 8 is shaping up to be Samsung's boldest software move in years.